Well, hello there, folks. How are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual. So happy Sunday to you and I hope that I do find you very well indeed and welcome back to our weekly meals and it's my favourite time of the week on the channel. And I know that so many of you now like to watch these videos. I love to put these out and share what I'm making and what we're having. And as usual, if I've done a video recipe on any of the meals that I've done here, I will leave them linked in the description box underneath. And if you're not subscribed yet, why not consider subscribing before you go if you do like these kinds of videos because I put them up every single week and don't forget to give the video a like just on your way out. So I'll we'll start off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday. So on Monday we had simple wraps, not one we have very often but we just wanted something a wee bit more simple. So I've got a tortilla wrap, I've got some mayo in the bottom, a wee bit of tomato, lettuce, these are some corn which is a sort of chicken substitute, nugget type things and I just wrapped them up in a couple of wraps and we had some buttered sweet corn and then some chips on the side. These chips are marvellous. If you can get to Aldi, these are the chips here. I like to put a wee bit of salt on mine about five minutes before they're ready. These are just oven chips. So when they're ready to come out about five minutes before, I just sprinkle some salt on the top and they're just like McDonald's chips, I think. But also made stewed sausage as well. Mr. Watts for tea fancied the stewed sausage and his youngest daughter prefers this as well. Well, and I do have a video recipe on the way for this one. So we just had some mashed potato, some garden peas, and that's a stewed sausage stew. <laughs> a square sausage stew done in the slow cooker. Really, really simple. But it's just one of the things, you know, with not many ingredients at all. You just bung it all into the slow cooker for a few hours and it is really tasty. You know, you might be thinking, oh, it's only it's only sausage. How tasty can it be? Seriously, it's really tasty. But like I said, I do have a video recipe on the way for that one. Moving on to Tuesday, we had chicken and rice. Another one that we don't have very often, but you know, when we do, we really enjoy it. So that's some Pearson Ding basmati rice, some tender stem broccoli, because I've got quite a lot of that actually that I need to use up. And that's a creamy chicken and a white savoury sauce. There's garlic and parsley and sweet corn and all sorts of things in there with some black pepper on the top. And it's just a lovely creamy combination. Moving on to Wednesday, we had barbecue pork. So I had a pork shoulder in the freezer that I had to use up. So I just popped it into the slow cooker and we had some whole grain rice and that's the barbecue pork there. And I just popped in some barbecue sauce once it was ready and just stirred the whole thing round. So it's very, very simple, but I did end up with tons of this stuff. So we ended up with quite a lot of it with some more broccoli on the side. And moving on to Thursday, a very simple one, but one of our favourites is macaroni cheese. And I do have a bit of cheese as well that I need to use up. So I tend to do that, you know, if I need to use something up, it just goes in and then I can get rid of it. So this is just a baked macaroni cheese. We had some garlic bread on the side and then a wee bit of parsley on the top. And yeah, I do have some parsley I need to use up as well. And this is it here, just out of the oven. And moving on to Friday, we had good old bangers and mash. This is Mr. Watts for Teas, or one of his favourites. I mean, we all like it, but he really does like it. So we had some mashed potato and, of course, the baked beans for those who are waiting on the baked beans. And then these are some beef link sausages from the local butcher. Yeah, I do I do like bangers and mash. You know, it's not my favourite, but like I said, I think it's probably Mr. Watts for Teas' favourite after the steak pie, that is. Moving on to yesterday, we had fish pie. Something I used to have or used to make all the time, but we don't have quite as often now. So that's smoked haddock and a creamy parsley sauce. And I think there's sweet corn in there as well. And I just popped some mashed potato on the top, some grated cheese, and we had some runner beans on the side. And moving on to today, another Scottish classic is mince and tatties. And we all love this. And this is probably one of my favourites. I usually make mashed potato, but I just decided to keep the tatties whole today just for a wee change. And these are lovely floury potatoes. You know, they're lovely and dry, which I like. These are the Maris Pipers with the mince and some buttered swede as well. So that's everything that we had this week. So thank you very much for popping over just to see what we had. And like I said, if you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you go? And a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here as well. And for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those who share the videos as well. And I will be back during the week 
for another wee recipe, shopping and bagging or whatever comes my way. But until I see you, take care of yourselves and I'll see you off soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.